uh, we are in chapter six the book is starting out with java and uh, the problem today we are solving is called ferris to one it's basically a dice game between two players and each player starts out with 50 points and um, the player uh, with exactly one point at the end wins so basically each time uh, the the computer rolls the dice uh, whichever number the player gets it will be subtracted from the uh, from their points from the player's points and um, uh, and it will be compared against the other player so whichever uh, player uh, closest to one or has the lower uh, number uh, lower remaining number wins for example here First, we create uh, the, the two players. Uh, the first player is Adam. The second player is Bob. And this is the first uh, turn. The first uh, time the computer rolls the dice for both players, Adam got one point and Bob got uh, one, one point. So basically, uh, it will be sub the one point it to be subtracted from the 50 points that they started with. So they both have 49 and 49, so it's a tie. Nobody won because their points are similar. Then the computer rolls the dice again for both of them, and Adam got one and Bob got six. So if we subtract 49 from one, it will be 48 for Adam and 43 for um, for Bob so uh, Bob wins and the reason Bob wins is because 43 is closer to 1 or is lower uh, than 48 whichever player has the lower number uh, uh, wins each turn uh, this example Adam got 2 Bob got 6 so Adam has um, 46 points and Bob has 37 points. So Bob wins because 37 is slower than 46. So this will continue until a player has exactly one point remaining. In this case, uh, Adam has one point remaining, so he wins. Bob has five points remaining, so he lost. So it's really a simple game in this programming challenge. So we'll create uh, two classes, one uh, for the player and one for the main uh, class, which would test, which would run the player class. So let, let, let's begin. Create uh, the player class. So right click the package, Java class, say player and um, the player class would have a private member called string, which will contain the name, another private member, which will contain the score, and another private uh, field, which will contain the die, the die class. Uh, if you are not familiar with with this class, no, I don't want to create a constructor. I want to import the class. If you are not familiar with the die class, we we seen this class uh, in the book uh, in chapter uh, four. Uh, it is basically a simple. It's a basically a simple uh, dice uh, die class. It has a side and it has a value. It has a constructor. We take uh, a number of sides and it will it will roll. It has a method that rolls the dice with a random number and it has a get uh, value and get sides. Mm -hmm. It's a simple it's a simple class uh, and. The book uh, lists uh, this 
uh, this class with an example. So after this, we create, um, we go back to our class uh, player. We, we create a constructor called uh, a player. The player takes a string which accepts the name. So we want this name to be to be assigned to this name. Now we say score, this score. Each player would start with 50 points, as I said earlier. And we have to instantiate the die class. The die class takes um, side this as an argument. Um, this side, the sides of the die would be six sides. After that, um, we have to uh, roll. Uh, we have to roll the the player. Uh, each player, we have to roll the dice for each player. We will say roll. I will say die. Roll, and we will return. We will return the value of the die that is that is rolled. After that. We have to um, change the score of the of the points because we want to subtract um, the points they get from their um, remaining points. We'll say public void change score. It will take the points they get. And we will subtract the points as long as it is not exactly a one, because we want to terminate the game if the player reaches a one, which would be the winner. Say if we will, we will use the negation operator, and we will use two uh, parentheses, two close parentheses, and they will say, as long as the score minus points is less than one, as long as uh, this condition is not uh, is not true, we want to subtract the score from whatever points they got. Then we we will uh, create the getters. I uh, will say get get the name and we will get the score as well. So we'll get the score and the name of the player. So just to review, we create the player and we create three members that each player would have. Each player will have a name, it will have a score and it will have uh, access to the die class, dice class. And the constructor takes the name of the player, assigns the name to this uh, name field, and um, each player will start with 50 points, and we will instantiate for each player uh, to have a six-sided uh, die. Uh, then we create a method that will roll um, the the dies uh, the die for uh, each player it will roll it and it will return the value of the of the rolled dies and we create a change score method it will take the points that was rolled here and um, as long as the score um, is not equal to to one whatever remaining points is not equal to one, um, we will continue subtracting the points they get from the score. And lastly, we create two methods, a get name to get the uh, get the score, uh, get score to get the score, and get name to get the, the name of the player. So it's really simple. Um, it's a simple uh, class. So next we will create uh, the main class that will run uh, the game. Also, we have to create another class called main, which will run at the player class. So 
we right click and choose Java class. I call it main. You can call it whatever you want. Then we create the main uh, main method. In IntelliJ, you, you just write PSVM and tab. It will it will complete it for you. Then we need a couple of variables. We need to store the score one, score two, difference one, difference two. After that, we need a scanner to get the, the keyboarding input. System dot in. And uh, after that, we we'll say uh, player one. Okay, or, or player one. Okay. And uh, we'll say string name scanner next line. And we will just copy this and paste it. I'll say here player two and name two, it would be name one. So when we get the two names, we have to create uh, two player objects, a uh, player one, new player. The first player will take name one and you will just copy and paste this will be player two and here will be name two for the constructor after that we create a counter count to start one then we'll create while loop we'll say player get score unless it is equal to one and uh, player two get score equal one as long as this condition is not is not true the loop will run basically the game will run so we need a couple of spaces at the top after that we have to roll um, the dice for player one we'll say score one score one equal player one roll to use the roll method then we have to subtract whatever the score he got uh, from his uh, points which is uh, 50 he starts with 50 points change score after that we'll say player one get name rolled and then we'll say score one. After that, we have to calculate the difference. We have to store the difference in diff one. Say player one get score negative one. Then after that, we have to say, we have to basically repeat for the second player we will do exactly the same for the second player. Score two for player two. Uh, player two and score two. Here player two. And here it will be score two. And difference two for player two. I think I it did all then after that we have to uh, show the remaining points say player one get name has player one get the score uh, points then we just copy this and we paste it we change player one to player two 
and here and say player two then after we display their points we have to calculate who won the round we we'll say if difference one is equal to difference two if their uh, differences are equal we we'll say it is a tie else if they are not equal we we'll say if difference is less than diff2 we will say player one get name wins because the lower the number that's the person that's the player uh, which wins else we'll say player two get name wins after the if statement we say count plus plus to increment the count just to review uh, the the class we created the main class then the main method we created uh, variables for score one score two difference one difference uh, two to store the scores and the differences uh, of their score and we created the scanner uh, class, a scanner object, and um, we we asked uh, the first player's name and second player's name, and we stored it in name one and name two. We created two uh, player objects, player one and player two, and we uh, passed uh, name one and name two as as arguments, and we created a count variable to count uh, the, the loop then we created a while loop the while loop will run as long as the player score is not equal to one uh, either of the players scores is not equal to one and here i created a space at the top then here is the first player um, uh, rolling the dice so the first time it will be uh, his score will be stored in score one and whatever the player one gets it will be uh, basically subtracted from his score using change score and as long as the the score is not uh, is above one the the subtraction will continue and and here we, we display the name and the score they, they rolled. And here we store the, the difference. Um, their score basically is stored in diff one. And we did exactly the same for the second player. Uh, their score uh, would be stored in score two. And it will be subtracted from their uh, points and it will be displayed whatever the score they got and the difference will be stored in diff one diff two and here uh, in this uh, system out uh, statements um, each player's remaining points will be displayed and here in the if statements if the differences are are equal um, if basically if they get the same same points uh, it, it's a tie otherwise uh, whichever whichever player that is closer uh, to one uh, wins and we just increment count so let's let's run the game and say So player one, I would say uh, Adam and player two, Bob. We just started uh, from the top. The Adam got five, uh, Bob got one. So Adam has uh, 45 points, uh, Bob has 49 points. Adam wins because Adam has uh, the lower number which is 45 
then the computer rolls the dice again, and both Adam and Bob got uh, one point, and um, Adam wins because Adam has 44 points, and Bob has 48 points. So the computer uh, rolls the dice again and again, each player taking a turn, unless uh, the player uh, got uh, has a uh, one point remaining, which uh, Bob is at the end. Bob has one point remaining, so he wins the game. And so that's uh, that's the program. Uh, I think we. We fulfilled all the requirements for this uh, programming challenge. If you have any questions, uh, let me know in the, in the comment section. And I will see you next time for another programming challenge.